need to stop, I need to focus. Hey guys, so I don't know if you saw on the vlog, but I just posted this camo look for the new Style with Sky post, and it was camo themed. We both wore these hydrophobic shirts from Threadsmiths. It looked cool in the photos, but I really wanted you guys to see how it works and how awesome it is. I am very clumsy. I always spill food on myself. You can ask my family. I feel like food is attracted to me. It just sticks to my hair and my clothes. This has been happening since I was in pre-K, maybe since I was three. Like all the photos you will see, I have food on me somehow. Uh, What's even more awesome is my son has one too. You know, three-year-olds with ice cream and juice. I feel like they cannot keep a white tea white. Any kind of drink, he will drink it and then it just spills on himself. But with this one, crazy, crazy stuff. These shirts are 100% cotton, so they're very comfortable. The fibers on the shirt are made with water-fearing nanotechnology. So it'll stay like this for about 50 washes. Basically to wash it, you just machine wash cold and tumble dry low. Do not dry clean, do not use fabric softener. I didn't do that. Iron on low heat, I was afraid to iron it, so I didn't, but usually just works well enough out of the dryer, so. I'm gonna show you guys a quick demo, not even quick. I'm gonna show you guys a demo and just spill different kinds of liquids on it, just so you can see how amazing it is. So we're just going to use this bottle water to rinse everything off. This is juice that my son likes to drink and spill on himself apparently. And ketchup, I always seem to get it on my clothes, don't ask why. My son also loves chocolate and milk and he loves mixing it himself so that's obviously tricky. Now I'm just going to show you guys how water is, first of all, with this shirt. As you can see it easily repels. Some do stick but they don't seep through the shirt so all you really need to do is get a paper towel and just dab off that excess liquid. The juice was pretty easy to work with as well. It was very watered down so it's not like it's stained or stayed on there. Just a couple of rinses of water it came right off. Amazing! Now the ketchup was a lot harder to work with. I actually think it was the most stubborn Thing out of all of the ingredients that I use. It had the most residue out of all of the other ones that I try to spill on the shirt. So that kind of made me nervous, but it still did come off eventually. I just couldn't get the smell out of the shirt. So it still smelled like ketchup and it smelled vinegary. So I ended up having to wash it after that. The chocolate syrup was so hard to spill because I guess it's just not very fluid compared to the other ones but I was surprised how easily it came off like it just beat it off the shirt that was pretty amazing and I got a little nervous because there was one spot that you can see there on the right that I thought was gonna be permanent but it actually came off after a little bit more water and a little bit more wiping and I haven't had to wash that shirt since then so that's been pretty amazing and, and zero stains on that no stains whatsoever At the last minute, I decided I wanted to use Kool-Aid as well. I just wanted to see if the shirt would stain somehow because Kool-Aid is very pigmented. But I was surprised with how easily it also came off and it didn't even leave a hint of purple on the shirt. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't seen the blog post, you should check it out. Style with Sky, that camo theme. And we're both wearing shirts from Threadsmiths. Interesting question though. Because it has that technology on it, it's the same inside out, but it's also hydrophobic inside. So my question is, if you wear this out in the Texas heat, what's gonna happen to your sweaty back? Like, where would these beads of sweat go? I don't know. I haven't tried. I'm a little afraid to try. Also, I don't know, maybe if you feel like it, you can subscribe. Just the thought, if you're interested. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. 
and maybe Twitter for Periscope, because I've been Periscoping. Is that a term? Is that the term? Periscoping? Yeah. I hope so. But yes, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm, I'm terrible at this.